safety tip number two is uh, the maximum safe milligram per kilogram dosage of lidocaine for tumescent anesthesia is 45 milligrams per kilogram with liposuction and 28 milligrams per kilogram without liposuction. What is the maximum safe dose of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia? Uh, the American uh, Society for Dermatologic Surgery has uh, stated in their guidelines that 55 milligrams per kilogram is a safe dosage for tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. The basis for that is uh, of one paper that was published in the Dermatologic Surgery Journal, but it was not uh, a very sophisticated estimate of maximum safe dosage. So I, I have a, some concerns about the safety of 55 milligrams per kilogram, and I'll explain it. 55 milligrams per kilogram of lidocaine is safe in setting for liposuction. But if you were to give a patient 55 milligrams per kilogram of lidoc tumescent lidocaine, and then for some reason would have to stop the procedure and not do liposuction, then you've, it's a different situation. The patient is getting 55 milligrams per kilogram and no liposuction. That's a totally different category. Uh, and because liposuction removes about 28% of the lidocaine that is infiltrated under the skin, by doing liposuction you're effectively reducing the dosage of tumescent lidocaine. So when you give this total dosage and you don't do liposuction, you can have a potential for toxicity. So my concern is that 55 milligrams per kilogram is, although it's safe when you do liposuction, if there's an event that prevents you from doing liposuction, for example, the patient gets chest pain, or the doctor gets chest pain, or the power goes out, or the patient gets a, a migraine headache and can't proceed with the procedure because they're vomiting, there's a, a, a risk there if they've gotten 55 milligrams per kilogram. So that's a safety tip you cannot ignore. Because of that, uh, we've done a research project which will be published in our upcoming journal, Anesthesia and Analgesia, and it uh, estimates the maximum safe dosage of tumescent lidocaine without liposuction and with liposuction. Without liposuction, my estimate uh, is 28 milligrams per kilogram of tumescent lidocaine should be considered safe. In fact, it's, it's pharmacokinetically, it's very safe. The risk of toxicity is estimated at being less than one in a million. So that, that is a big margin of safety uh, there. With, with liposuction, the dosage can be increased to 45 milligrams per kilogram. I, I don't like to exceed that. In our office, we use 45 milligrams per kilogram as our maximum safe dosage, but occasionally when we reach that, we still have a little bit more to go before we have complete uh, local anesthesia, so we will go over that limit a bit. Um, but I, I don't think it's a big risk to, to fudge a little bit, but 55 milligrams per kilogram is a little bit too much in my estimation, and if you fudge a little bit above that, then you're getting into more shaky territory. Um, I should mention that the current uh, FDA-approved package insert labeling for lidocaine with epinephrine for infiltration local anesthesia states that 7 milligrams per kilogram is the maximum safe dosage for lidocaine. It is uh, not based on any scientific evidence. We've done a request for freedom of information from the FDA and they were not able to find any documentation, scientific documentation, that would uh, justify that dosage. What happened historically is that in 1948 when the FDA approved lidocaine for epidural local anesthesia, uh, they chose 7 milligrams per kilogram for lidocaine with epinephrine for epidural local anesthesia and someone said, well, the dosage for subcutaneous infiltration local anesthesia should be about the same, and that was the extent of it. So there is no good documentation. Uh, it is uh, now with this research we've just completed, I think that, uh, that the, we'll have a better idea of what is safe and what isn't, and it will be based on good data. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.